Dear students, now we are going to discuss the concept of duality and dual circuits in detail. In electric circuits, this duality concept is very important one because if you are going to find out the solution for one network, which also gives the solution for its dual network. So what is meant by dual network? So here we can consider two networks as dual networks only when the mess equations of one network are same as the node equations of the other network. So here we can say the two networks are called dual networks if the mess equations of one network are the node equations of the other network. So in the circuit these two are the dual networks there is one to one correspondence between these two dual networks. Here we can have voltage source, here it is current source, here it is resistance, in this one conductance, inductance can be represented as capacitance, capacitance can be represented as inductance. So in this one we can use Kirchhoff's voltage law, here we can apply Kirchhoff's current law. Here all the elements are connected in series, here all the elements are connected in parallel. Do you all understand this comparison? There is one to one correspondence between the networks. That is called as dual network. Here the voltage is divided, current is same. Here the current is divided, voltage is same. We can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law here. So the total voltage V is equal to the sum of voltage drops Vr plus Vl plus Vc. So here the total current is equal to the sum of outgoing currents Ig plus Ic plus Il. So here we can have the voltage equations Vr as I into R, Vl as L into Di by Dt. Here we see as 1 by C integration of I into Dt. So this are the voltage drop equations. The same can be applicable over here. So I is replaced with V and 1 by R is G. So I is equal to Vg plus here IC is nothing but C into dV by dt. Here it is 1 by L integration of V into dt. So almost both the equations are similar. So here the dual networks are not equivalent networks but here the circuit equations are of the same mathematical form with interchanged variables. This is very important one. So here these two dual networks are not equivalent but the circuit equations are of the same mathematical form with interchanged variables. So here we can have I into R, here we can have V into G. The next one is L into Di by DT, here it is C into DV by DT. So here 1 by C, integration of I into DT, here it is 1 by L, integration of V into DT. Do you all understand that one? Okay, so the mathematical operation is same, but the variables are interchanged. So it is mainly used to solve any networks, which also gives solution to its dual networks. Okay, so here elements and dual elements are given. Current can be represented as voltage in its dual network. Resistance, conductance, inductance as capacitance, capacitance as inductance, series as parallel, KCL as KVL. Let's solve some important problems in this duality network. So here, draw the dual network for the given network. So here, voltage source in series with 3 ohm, 7 ohm and then 4 ohm in series with this 10 volt voltage source. We are going to draw the dual network for this given circuit. So in this dual network, we are going to convert this voltage source into current source. So 5 volt becomes 5 ampere current source. So this 3 ohm is converted as a 3 more conductance. So resistance is converted into conductance. So 3 ohm as 3 more. This 7 ohm can be considered as 7 more. And then this 4 ohm can be considered as 4 more conductance in parallel with this current source. So 10 volt can be considered as a 10 ampere current source. Do you all understand this dual network? So here voltage source can be considered as a current source. 
for this current source resistance can be in parallel okay so next problem draw the dual network for the given circuit so voltage source 10 volt in series with 5 henry inductance and then 2 ohm then 2.5 farad capacitance and then 0.5 ohm so here this voltage source is converted into 10 ampere current source and this inductance can be considered as a capacitance here so 5 farad this 2 ohm can be represented as 2 mohm that is conductance it is in this connection we can make it as a series so here capacitance 2.5 farad can be represented as 2.5 henry that is inductance and finally here this resistor is in series with this capacitor correct so this resistor is in series with this capacitor then we can make this connection as parallel so this inductance in parallel with this conductance so 0.5 ohm can be represented as 0.5 mohm there is no change in the position but we have to ensure that these two are in parallel do you all understand this concept